let's do a problem we have to prove that bisector of angle a so this orange line is the bisector of angle a and perpendicular bisector of side bc so this pink line is the perpendicular bisector of side bc we have to prove that these two that means the angle bisector of angle a and perpendicular bisector of side bc intersect at the circumcircle of the triangle abc so we have to prove that these two intersect at a point d which lies on the circumcircle of triangle abc let's discuss the approach for doing this we can have three approaches for proving this first approach can be we can assume that the perpendicular bisector and the angle bisector intersect at point d and the circumcircle passes through point d second approach can be we can assume that d is a point on the circle through which the perpendicular bisector passes and then we will show that angle bisector also passes through point d third approach can be we can assume that d is a point which lies on the circle and the angle bisector passes through d then we will prove that perpendicular bisector of bc also passes through point d now out of the three approaches the third one is most convenient so we will use the third approach to prove this here let us join sides cd and bd and let's think of triangle bdc so here we have triangle bdc if somehow we can prove that bdc is an isosceles triangle with bd equal to dc then we can use the property that in an isosceles triangle perpendicular bisector of the side that means side bc in this case will pass through the opposite vertex d and this is what we want to prove in the question for proving bdc as isosceles triangle we can see that this angle here that means angle dcb is equal to this angle here that is angle dac as angles in the same segment are equal so angle dcb is equal to angle dab making use of the same property that angles in the same segment are equal angle dbc will be equal to angle dac but these two angles are equal that means angle dab is equal to angle dac as it is given that ad is the bisector so these two angles are equal so if these two angles are equal then this implies that angle dcb will be equal to angle dbc so we have proved that in triangle dbc this angle is equal to this angle this implies db will be equal to dc as sides opposite equal angles are equal now as we have proved that bdc is an isosceles triangle so perpendicular bisector of side bc will have to pass through the opposite vertex that is point d and this is what we have to prove in this problem For proving this question we applied the property that angles in same segment are equal and we also used the property of isosceles triangles 